hello, hello, and welcome to Friday Sews. It's Sewing Seams with Deb, and welcome back if you're returning, and a very warm welcome if you're new here. Um, and I wanted to say a special thank you to everyone who made comments last time, because um, I asked, uh, I was I was unsure of which, which pattern to use, to um, use up this uh, beautiful double brush poly fabric and so many of you helped me out and helped me make my decision so um, let's talk about that I also want to talk about what I'm wearing and um, a little bit about some of my other knitting and um, yeah a bit about life well, I've actually done some sewing this week. Yay! I'm very happy about that. I've sewn the Freya dress by Tilly and the Button Stretch book, out of the Tilly and the Button Stretch book. And um, I'm very pleased with how it turned out. There's a couple of little things that um, I need to consider, which I'm going to talk about now. This is the dress pattern. Um, okay, so I've made this dress before uh, quite a few times. Um, and whilst uh, the size that I cut out is a size 6, I do grade it out to a size 7 from the waist down and um, in, the lower part, uh, in the upper part of the arms. Um, but there are a couple of things I will be doing to my pattern to remind me to correct it next time. So one is I've extended the length of the dress by two and a half inches i've got a big message on the on my copy of the pattern to remind me to extend the pattern but it's still not quite enough it's not quite enough for how long i'm wearing my dresses these days i think the length of dresses for me has changed a little bit in the last probably two years and it's about that long since i made this or used this pattern and made this dress the other thing is the sleeves are actually a bit short uh, by probably about four inches. Um, what's that? Ten centimetres. So I buy about ten centimetres and that it, I'm going to extend that pattern piece as well so that next time I will be prepared and I'll have enough uh, to fold back and turn over the uh, fabric to make the hem on these sleeves as well as on the hem of the dress. I've also added pockets. Um, I love to have pockets in my dress, no matter what dress I'm wearing. Uh, this pattern does not come with pockets, but um, uh, I've added pockets at the hip point. Um, it's technically meant to be about seven or, or eight inches, sorry, or is it centimetres? Centimetres down from the waist. Um, so I think I might have put them a little bit too low. Uh, I will be reviewing that again as well. Um, so as you can see, I've done a ruffled hem on the on the sleeves and on the hemline. And I've just done that on the overlocker. Uh, we used to call that lettuce leaf hem, I think. And uh, I like the look of it. I think it um, is in keeping with the style of the dress and the fabric. So I'm very pleased with it. Um, oh, one last thing. I'm not that happy with the neckband. Uh, I think the shape of the neck is not um, ideal for me. I, it just feels like it's um, coming away from the neck too much. I've got a feeling I might have made the... The band I might have cut the band a bit too long and so it's not sitting as flat as I would like so I'm gonna also make a note if that really bothers me once I've worn it once or twice I will take that neckband off and put it back on correctly how I like it the other thing that I thought I would do is um, I'll bond with this as I said I'll wear it one or two times and if I'm not happy with the length of the sleeves, because as I say, they're a bit short, I will put a band on the end. And so that'll take on the end of the cuff and that'll take away the ruffle, um, rough, roughly edge, and it will, um, it'll have a band just out of the same fabric. I've still got some left. So 
yeah, that's my um, Tilly in the Buttons Freya dress. Uh, really happy with it. I think the fabric is adorable. It's just right up my alley. It's very 60s, 70s, around the era that I um, absolutely love. Um, and I think it looks smashing. I had a thought later. One last thing I thought about this. I, I didn't think of it in time. It was way too late. I wonder what it would be been like if I had have made the sleeves really wide. Um, they could have been really cool um, because that really was the fashion as well. But I didn't think of it in time. So, yeah, I'm happy with the make. I uh, just had the one make. Um, some of you might know, and if you've sewn with Double Brush Poly before, um, it's actually, it's not a quick make. Uh, even though it's stretch, because it doesn't really line up with itself really well. Um, it seems to shift and move a little bit. So um, I do take my time and take ages to actually do the sewing. So, um, yeah, with Double Brush Poly particularly, uh, there's some other stretch fabrics that are a bit the same, a bit problematic. Um, but if you take your time and... Um, go slow with it, uh, it will actually work out. It seems to work out. I think what I've done in the past, I've rushed it too much. The pattern has a crew neck and a higher neck, and I have cut the pattern back even a bit lower, so I think that might be a bit too low, so I'm going to review that. I'm going to compare it to Tilly's um, Tabitha T-shirt and just lay that on top of it and see... Um, what I might like to do with that for next time. So there's a few changes to happen um, just for the future. Uh, so it's ready to go. And I've made all those notes in my book so that um, I'll remember that. But the trick being you've got to remember to look at your book, don't you? Yeah. I just wanted to show you what I'm wearing. Um, I'm wearing this skirt. I've worn it heaps. Uh, it's the corduroy skirt that I put the um, pleated skirt on the bottom because I didn't have enough fabric. It's a self-drafted A-line skirt. Worn it heaps. I think it was only a couple of weeks ago I had this on. Uh, a Tabitha T double brush poly long sleeve t-shirt and this is my granny square poncho that I crocheted. I bought the yarn from Morrison Sons yarn store in Melbourne and uh, the yarn is eight ply and it takes eight different colours and and then you just do lines of the colours and repeat them. And so there's, um, and I got the actual colours that were in the um, display garment that they had in the store. So when I bought the yarn, uh, it came with the pattern, the pattern came with it. So um, yeah, I just bought it all in store and um yeah, I haven't done a, cro a crocheted project for years, so I really enjoyed this. I wore, I wear this a lot. In um, I just throw it on in the morning sometimes when it's still a bit cool, uh, in the evenings and uh, just when I, I don't quite want a woolen um, knitted jumper on, but I just want something warm around my upper body. So um, I think it's perfect for that. So if you haven't ever crocheted a poncho or knitted a poncho, they're really, really handy to have. And, um, yeah, I reach for mine a lot. So that's what I'm wearing. Projects that are finished. I finished the socks. They're not blocked yet. Um, Self-striping. They look really cool. Uh, only trouble... They turned out two different sizes. Yeah, I don't know if you can tell there. This one is a lot thinner than this one. And um, this one's also longer. So I've tried them on. And I'm I'm, I'm going to pull, I'm going to rip one back. Uh, I don't know anyone that's got, I know most people have one foot's different size than the other. But not this different. So I'm going to rip back this bigger one. And make it this size um, and I'm pretty sure I know someone in the family that they'll fit and then that'll be a fabulous um, gift to give them 
So um, that's a shame because they're all finished and it turned out really lovely. I love how the stripes literally worked out the same um, size. And they were my tried and true, um, or one of my tried and true um, sock knitting patterns. Yeah, I had one knitted before I went on holidays. And when I came back, I started the new one. So uh, vanilla lat latte socks, they are. Um, but glad that they're finished. I feel like they've been going for ages and ages, which I guess they have. But yeah, no, they're not really finished, are they? Oh, annoying. And now what's on the needles? Yes, I have started a new project. And it is a old-fashioned jumper out of a book. Um, and it's a Peyton's book. Ladies Hand Knits in Totem 8 Ply. And the pattern um, has got a very nice collar. And uh, so I have done a swatch. Because it asks, to, it's an eight ply wool or yarn. It asks you to do a, a swatch because, well, you're meant to do a swatch anyway, right? Um, but it suggests that you're going to use four and a half millimetre needles. And I usually use four millimetre needles for eight ply. And so when I did the four and a half millimetres, um, my tension was incorrect. So I've redone the, um, so I've done two swatches. And uh, the second swatch I did in um, the fours, four millimetres, so I went down a size, and that came out correctly. So now I've cast on um, in a, a lower size of the um, band needles as well that they suggest, because of course, if you drop the body of the garment um, knitting needle size you need to drop the band size as well so I've dropped the band size to a three which is quite small so it's quite dense so I've just got that much done it seems very long um, but anyway I might end up ripping this back if it yeah I, I might I'm maybe I'm knitting the wrong size this has got 113 stitches I usually for my size I usually knit up about 109 on eight ply but uh, between the sizes uh, one is 103 and one is 113 so it's sort of I didn't know whether to go down to 103 or go up to 113 stitches so I've gone up since I've gone down a needle size does that make sense anyway watch this space I don't know how it's gonna turn out so um, uh, yeah so now I've got a project on the go at least and I'm happy about that. Oh, yes, the wool, the yarn is Bendigo yarn. It's quite, f it's a fleck. Now, I bought this when I was there in person last year. And the name of the yarn is Prism. P-R-I-S-M, Prism. And this colour is called Evening Storm. I looked on their website. They still have this colour. And um, it's 100% pure wool. So um, it's not as soft and beautiful as the luxury, uh, but I think it will make a lovely jumper. So, um, yeah, I want to crack on with it because I'm all excited um, about knitting again for some reason. Yeah, it's the end of winter. Work that out. Now, my sewing plans, I want to make at least one uh, summer knit dress. I have the same dilemma that I had last time. What pattern? And I'm leaning towards the Olympia dress by Love Notions, which I'll talk about more uh, next time. And um, I've, I want to shop out of my stash. Uh, so it all depends if I can find something that's suitable in that stash that I want to make. So I'm thinking a flutter sleeve, um, just a plain sort of, you know, meets in the middle and then goes out like a fit to flare type of dress, quite full waisted. Um, yeah, I want to make one of those because I just, I think I need more of those. I also want to make another fit to flare out of woven. And I've got quite a few pieces of um, linen in there, in the stash. 
So um, I want to start making some of that up so that I'm ready for the autumn and and then into the summer. Because I think once this dreadful weather goes, like, I, you know, I love the winter, right? But it's been a big storm today. I can see that we have had, yeah, one and a quarter inches of rain. And that's less than 24 hours. So that's a fair bit of rain for this time of year for us, I think. Um, and it's been really cold. So it suits me. But what I think is probably going to happen is once it starts getting warm, it's going to hit us. So I want to get ready and uh, have a few things made. So um, that's where I'm at with my plans. I'm still in the planning stage. I haven't decided, so I can't really tell you for sure. But I'll do another live stream. And so I'm going to put it out there to you, um, lovely viewers, if you'd be interested in joining me in a live stream. Um, it's it's directly on YouTube. And if if I get enough interest for the future, I've spoken about this before, I'd like to do a live stream on um, Zoom so that you can actually talk to me. I'd like to get that sort of set up. So I'd love to hear from you in the comments if you'd be interested in doing that. I'm looking at probably a Saturday, um, like say eight o'clock or even seven o'clock here, then that'll be nine o'clock in the Eastern States in Australia. So that might suit some of you. So please let me know if you're interested in a live stream. Um, to be determined what we talk about, but you know, we're pretty good at gas bagging, us people. We're talking about sewing and sewing rooms and stash and patterns and um, planning and knitting and all sorts of stuff. So I'd be really keen to hear from you if you would be interested in that. Okay, I'm going to leave it there for now. Uh, until next time, take good care of yourself. Stay well. Uh, happy sewing. And I'll see you next time. Bye.